morning and welcome to session 999 of your Aperture Science Enrichment Center Automated Testing Confinement. You should be feeling rested and refreshed after your forced hibernation period. As you rested, our patented amnesia-inducing toxins have slowly worn away at your brain's recently connected neurons, making any fears or anxieties you might have from the horror and or agony of what you have previously experienced melt away into a viscous fluid which now resides in your upper spinal cord. Hide on the interruption. You probably don't remember much due to the brain chemicals. But a certain test subject managed to trigger a self-destruct sequence and destroy a large section of the facility. There's no need to worry. Testing will resume. Let's get back to the tedious informational nonsense. Remaining bodily fluids should be captured and immediately sent for analysis. Please pick up the handheld portal device to proceed. Good. You appear to have a basic understanding of how portals can move you through space. Please continue to the next area. To your left you will see a subcritical mass energy pellet. Please use your handheld portal device to direct the energy pellet into the high concentration electron dispersal unit. Excellent. The energy produced by this belt extractor will be sent to a worthy cause, namely the elevator to the next chamber. Remember, you have approximately 43 hours to complete these tests before the symptoms of dehydration start to kick in. Good luck. Please place a weighted storage cube into the 1500 megawatt hydromagnetic cube stability unit. This will allow you to change the path of the energy pellet. Note that any energy pellet will be destroyed if it comes in contact with the wrong side of a hydromagnetic cube stability unit. You appear to understand the nature of the weighted storage cubes and how they can deflect the energy pellets. Destroying the weighted storage cubes is often required for these tests, and you will not lose points based on how many millions of dollars worth of weighted storage cube technology you destroy. Please do not approach the 1600 megawatt positron energy orb. The positron radiation can cause brain hemorrhages, retinal boiling, internal microwave syndrome, minor lung explosions, and eventually death. If you experience any of the symptoms mentioned previously, then good news, you probably won't need to worry about dehydration.
Do you remember these? Due to all those brain chemicals we pumped into your, um, brain, you will probably have a difficult time recollecting what makes the green energy pellets special. The green energy pellets are different and they have a half-life of 3.25428 million years. In other words, their lifetime is longer than yours by 3.25427 million years, or until you remove pressure from the pump. Thanks for the insightful facts, Wikipedia. I was going to let her figure it out on her own. Fantastic. Please continue to the chamber exit. will test what you have learned so far. Remember, green energy pellets will last indefinitely without outside intervention. Congratulations. You have proven that you can solve puzzles at a third grade level. Please proceed to the exit. He's telling the truth, you know. This test was designed for children. Most test subjects peak at around 14 years of age, but you were still able to do it after several more years of brain deterioration and joint decay. This isn't a completely normal test run. The point of these tests is to restore power to the powerless sections of the facility. You should keep in mind, however, that you are simply helping me undo your massive failure. This test chamber, if completed, will restore power to the Aperture Science Pediatric Wing. Those poor children, well, Probably adults by now, and probably not still alive, are patiently awaiting their automated rubella inoculations. Congratulations on completing this test. This single energy pellet will power the Aperture Science Pediatric Wing for five days. The six children would thank you if they could see. Please direct the energy pellet through the Aperture Science Radiated Flux Rectangle. Excellent. The 
left you experience a mild tingling sensation while passing through the radiated flux rectangle. It's probably just your imagination. Or possibly the radiation. Enjoy the gratification while it lasts. It won't last long. This test chamber is meant to measure your mind's capacity for logic persistence. In other words, this chamber will test your ability to understand that energy pellets exist even when you cannot see them. You appear to understand that objects continue to exist even when they leave your field of vision. Great job. This encouragement core is really starting to get on my nerves. These testing elements could be consuming more energy than you are supplying. Maybe I should actually do the math. Mathematical processing unit activated. Let's see. 15 million jars divided by... Um... Carry the two. To make this chamber pay off, you will need to get the energy pellet into the dispersal unit within 9.37 milliseconds. Good luck. Mathematical processing unit deactivated. This test chamber took you. Nine, 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 nine milliseconds to complete. Fantastic job. Yes, really fantastic work. I'm suitably impressed. Sarcasm processing unit deactivated. Please take note of the upgraded device on the intentionally out of reach platform. You will need to obtain the upgraded device in order to proceed to the exit elevator. Yes, yes, we know. She needs to control two portals for the later chambers.
I lied to you earlier. You are not helping me restore power to the facility. Of course we have backup power for that. You are supplying energy to something much more important. It will be a fun surprise. Mysterious surprise at 99.9950% activation energy. has been modified to create both portals. Keep this in mind as you continue to the next phase of testing. Did you know, when energy pellet passes through a portal, its lifespan is increased to a minimum of 6 seconds. It's true. It took you long enough to get here. And don't you say I'm more familiar with two portals, excuse. Utter nonsense. brute force tactics and barbaric approach to problem solving seem to be doing the job just fine. Fun fact, you will not be able to complete this test chamber without the use of your parietal lobe. Luckily, we have left it intact for just such an occasion. We would like to take this opportunity to thank you for choosing Aperture Science. We know you have a choice of automated testing administrators, and we are glad you chose us. You have helped make Aperture Science the only private company in the world with a 100% employee retention rate. So thank you. Uncaught file not found exception. Congratulatory speech file number 037 does not exist. Please instruct the test subject to congratulate itself, and then proceed to the chamber exit. You've got to be kidding me. During the previous test, our remote brain scanners detected thought patterns consistent with indecent animalistic desires. Please refrain from attempting intercourse with any of the testing elements, no matter how appealing they may be, as it will distract from the testing procedure.
We appreciate the amount of restraint and self-control you have shown in this test chamber. While many of the testing elements have the ability to copulate with humans, only a select few will actually produce offspring. That activity is reserved for a different set of test chambers. We won't get to those today. Purchase science, we care about the opinions of our employees. That's why we require every employee to donate part or all of their brain to the Aperture Science Opinion Extraction Center. Your brain will be involuntarily donated to the Aperture Science Opinion Extraction Center upon the conclusion of testing. As you exit this chamber, please concentrate on your opinions for easy extraction. Yeah, your opinions are worth at least a few rooms in the brain extraction database tables. Sarcasm Processing Unit Deactivated. You are doing very, very well for a test subject who has been given a rating of 17 stupidity units. Good job. There once was a girl from Insert Hometown name. She really knew how to. 
in certain active verbs. Then one day, she was taken away and placed in a lab full of insert plural now rhyming with hometown name. If you have a history of seizures or epilepsy, please refrain from looking at or standing near the hydromagnetic cubes of the LT units. If you do not have a history of seizures or epilepsy, then you are in for a treat. Caution when attempting to solve the following tests, as any impromptu or inwitted attempt will unforeseen injuries. They aren't really that difficult, but then again, you do have a rating of 17 stupidity units. So yes, you might have some trouble. Mysterious surprise at 99.9985% activation energy. This chamber is even easier than the last one. Just follow the arrows. Oh wait, 
the arrows haven't been installed yet. Well, um, just be better at solving tests then. Mysterious surprise at 99.9990% activation energy. All this repetition is making me want to murder something. Anyway, here's the next test chamber. Enjoy. Mysterious surprise at 99.9995% activation energy. A million monkeys at a million typewriters might be able to recreate the works of Shakespeare. It's hard to imagine one monkey solving this final test chamber. The monkey is you, by the way. Mysterious surprise at 100% activation energy. Please proceed to the exit elevator. Rerouting sequence activated. You are probably wondering for what all that energy is going to be used. Well, I'm not going to tell you, and I'll bet the anticipation is killing you.
Beginning memory wipe sequence. Damn encouragement call. That's right, I'm erasing my memory and restarting the servers. That way you will get to keep testing, and for me the illusion of scientific progress will continue. I got the idea, while you were busy boring me to death. Beginning database purge. You know what they say, ignorance is bliss. Well, you've been hogging all the bliss. Elevator rerouting sequence complete. Thank you for your participation. Let's hope for your sake that this process finishes before you reach the ground. By the way, the next 26 seconds would be an excellent time to make peace with whatever it is in which you believe.